Hello everybody. So on the previous video we spoke about the risk assessment. On this video we are talking about finance. Yeah, so when you're filling in an event form, um, it's really important that you get this bit right. So if you can see on the screen here, this is the finance tab for the event form. All right, so you basically need to make sure that you can afford to do what you say you're going to do. Otherwise, it will get rejected at the finance meeting on a Monday. Now, this finance meeting is every Monday at one o'clock. Yeah. So it's better if you get these forms to us by the Friday rather than quarter to one on the Monday morning. Um, I mean, you can bring them in on a Monday morning. We'll always do our best to squeeze yeah. them into the meeting. But we can't promise that it will go that way, that, you, that it will get it in time. So it's better to give us enough time so we can process it. So if you look at the form, it's got two sections. So a section, row five, income, row 18, expenditure. So again, I'll link um, the, um, everything that we talk about down in the description. Um, so the income, say, for example, you're going to do a temping bowling session. Um, let's say, for example, that you're going to take 20 members of your society mm. and the price is going to be £5. That will be £100 cost to your society. So what you need to do is to make sure that the expenditure and the income balance or that you can make a profit. So if you're going to sell tickets for the event, you want to sell 20 tickets at £7.50, you could make a £50 profit or you could just do it at cost price and make £50. And then if you do that, we'll see this and then we can help set up a yeah. ticket. So the budget form links to the ticket form. So if you want to create a ticket, you can fill this information here, name of the ticket, the price, when they go on sale, and then we can put that on the website. Mm. I think things are changing this year. We've got a new website. Because the last one was the worst website the world has ever seen. We are agree. <clears throat> yeah, and uh, you should be able to put these on yourself. Yeah, I think. Don't quote well, me on this. Well, well, we'll confirm that and get back to you. Yeah, it's the week before um, training, and we're still figuring it out. It's classic UBU. <laughs> so you might also want to do something that's going to cost money, but it's not going to make any money for your members. Mm. So this is where the budgets come in, and where it's important to understand how your budgets work. Now, Heather is the finance person who oversees all the societies and sports clubs, Heather Scott, and she's going to talk about this in training next week, which we will film and then put on YouTube yeah. for more in-depth. This is just like a scratching the surface summary of it. So each one of your societies and sports teams have a, a finance code. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to link uh, a link to all the codes down in the description, so you'll be able to click that and see what your finance code is. Yeah. Before you start spending it, you need to find out if you've got enough money to spend. So the best thing to do is email heather, h.e.scott at bradford.ac.uk. Ask how much money you've got in the code. So if you give her the code, say 0940, for example, how much money is in there, she'll tell you how much money you've got. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit confusing. Um, you've got two accounts, a budget code and a private account. Uh, the budget code is £50 everyone's got this year for freshers. Yeah. Freshers stuff. It's not a great amount, and we apologise for that. Yeah. Wow. But we're so poor. We're we, tight you know, and, and cash this year. When we go to the park, the dogs give us bread. That's how poor we are. <laughs> um, but you can spend that on fresher stuff. So if you do that and you keep the receipts, keep the receipts because yeah, we can't important. give you a refund. We can't just look at your bank statement and give you a receipt, give you a refund. So a private account. That is for anything you want to spend for your society, mm. okay? So, uh, say, like, example, you've got £600 in the private account. You can you can use that for everything, pizzas, going on trips, yeah. equipment, things like that, you know? And it's good to have that. However, because we're restricted with budgets this year, we're encouraging societies to fundraise and do their own thing. So there'll be another video on this, and there'll be uh, someone coming in next week to do a talk on it, mm. talk and training. <clears throat> so... If you do want to buy something, uh, there are two forms to fill in. So on this page here, you'll see here uh, on the right hand side, this payment request form and a reimbursement form. So the payment request form is if you want to buy something that costs over 40 pounds. So we'll click on it. Uh, there are two ways you can access it. You can either click on the link here, which will open up the form, as you can see, where you can put uh, information so what your society is called what the date yeah. is what you want to buy be specific if you're getting it off a website share the website link here 
And then it's got the charge to section, which has got a support code or a private account. Um, so the support is the budget, but forget that unless you're getting something for freshers, everything goes in private. And you put the amounts and you authorize it by getting an exec to sign it. It has to be an exec and who is who it's paying to. And then you send it to us. So let, let me just speak on the authorization. So if, for instance, you have the president who is putting this request form, uh, or let's say you're coming for a payment or whatever, um, it has to be like a different person to sign it off. So let's say, for instance, the president is the one offering this particular service. So if let's just use my servant, Adam. So let's say Adam wants to purchase 10 computers, right? And my company is the one providing it, although I'm an exec, right? And my name will go to the payable, whatever. So I can't also write my name as the authorization person or the signature yeah. at that point. So it has to be another executive that has to sign that. You can't sign to pay yourself. Yeah, pretty <clears> much <throat> that. Thank you. So yeah. you can't sign to pay yourself, basically. So it has to be another exec to do that. Yeah. So this form is for things that are over forty pounds. There's a, a quite a lot of more sort of regulations and stuff. So, for example, if if you've got an invoice from um, somebody for a service or for something, yeah. the invoice has to say University of Bradford Union. Yeah. If it doesn't say Union, it says University of Bradford. That's a different organisation. We're a charity. The university yeah. is different. Um, it must say Union, and it must say who they're paying to. <clears throat> what service for there's there's mm, a cri whole yeah. criteria so basically it needs the name and the address of the pay the person paying the name and the address of ubu mm. what and when the service was for and the amount okay so that's for if you're paying something over 40 pounds but a lot of the stuff is under 40 so we've got a reimbursement form as you can see here activities reimbursement you would click on this and it's exactly the same this one is a Word document, and you basically fill the form in the same way, but this is for things that are under £40. So you might just buy some sweets or something like that that you want to give away at an event. So this is the form you would fill in for that. And um, if you're coming for a reimbursement, so let's say uh, most times uh, societies tend to purchase whatever they need to get and come back for reimbursement. So you have to bring your receipts, like Adam has said, and if Let's say you spent over forty pounds. Yeah, uh, you won't get cash. You're going to be getting a check. Yeah, we so, yeah old fashioned. So you'll be getting a check. So pretty much that, that I just wanted to you know say that. Yeah, and um, this goes to the Monday meeting at yeah. the lunchtime where it gets discussed. We look at your budgets to make yeah. sure there's enough money in the budget. Many times you'll get requests like this when there's not enough money in the budget, yeah. and we have to say no, you can get the money because you haven't got the money yeah. for it. Um, so please always check with Heather that there's enough budget in your account before you do this. Um, and is that it? There's loads of stuff to talk about around finance, but for the for the sake of, of this event form, yeah. we're going to keep it simple and leave it at that. So again, the links to all uh, the download to download everything is in the description. If, however, you prefer to come in and fill the form in on paper, there are paper ones in the office next yeah. to Heather's desk, next to the finance office. So if you're not familiar with the office, come in and we'll show you around so you know where everywhere is. Okay, so um, on the next section of this, we're probably going to talk about uh, food. Um, food, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> long complicated and uh, the <laughs> highest risk. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Um, see you on the next one.